सो हेलो एवरी वन आई होप आई एम ऑडिबल एंड विजिबल कैन यू ऑल गिव मी अक्विक थम्स अप इफ माई ऑडियो वीडियो इज फाइन लेट मी जस्ट चेक इफ आई कैन इफ यू ऑल कैन सी मी एंड इफ माई वीडियो ऑडियो इज क्लियर जस्ट गिव मी अ सेकेंड कैन यू ऑल गिव मी अक्विक थम्स अप इफ माई ऑडियो वीडियो इज फाइन टू ऑल ऑफ यू एनी वन कैन गिव मी अक्विक सब्सक्रिप्शन अक्विक थम्स अप वेरी नाइस so welcome all of you in this class of dermatology must know images which is a very important topic for everyone uh, before we start let us very quickly go through the regulars so i will just uh, brief myself i am dr cheshta agarwal your neat pt educator on the best online platform that is an academy on an academy we provide two type of subscription one is plus which give you an access to an academy live classes and we have iconic which give you an access to both an academy and prep ladder I request all my students to kindly get yourself enrolled uh, in uh, on an academy because currently we are giving a 20% discount on an academy subscription. You have to use a code and the code is C H E S T A 10. So I would highly recommend all my dear students to kindly get yourself enrolled. This is an amazing platform with amazing discount. We are starting with an INICT batch very very soon, so I would be requesting all my INICT aspirants to please be a part here. The group name is Mission INICT 2022, starting on July 21st. The dermatology classes are starting on 26th of July, so I would be requesting all my dear students to kindly get yourself enrolled. The first session will be 7 to 9 a.m. on 26th of July. I would be requesting all my students to be live there on an academy. Focus FMG batch is uh, for the batch or uh, for the exam which is in December for FMG. I would be recommending all my FMG aspirants to get yourself enrolled. And we have a NEET PG 2023 batch. All these three batches are running currently now or they are starting very soon. If you get this, 20% discount will be given to you. The prices are here. I would be highly requesting all of you to get a six-month subscription which covers everything. If you take this six-month subscription using the code Cheshta10, you will get twenty percent discount on the total amount. We are also providing a light subscription, which give you the access of the MCQs, and here you have shorter subscriptions of one month, two month, three month available. So, if you want to have an access to only the MCQs, you can even go for light subscription. Plus, gives you an access to an academy. Iconic gives you an access to an academy and prep ladder, and then for first year. students and for ups cms subscriptions we have different prices so i request all of you to please use this code and get your subscription now let us start with the first question of the today's session can you all give me a quick thumbs up if you are ready for the first question the first question is on your computer screen we have a pure image based session look you can see a image of axilla on the axilla you can see that there are some hairs with yellowish concretion over it so let me very quickly show you this you can see that on the axillary hair there are some yellowish concretion what is the diagnosis here botryomycosis trichomycosis onychomycosis or actinomycosis anyone mitum mist and supratim now whenever you see a yellowish concretion or deposition or dirty material on the hairs of the axilla this is a very classical case of trichomycosis axillaris and please remember it sounds like a fungus but it is a bacterial infection corine bacteria tenius so it is a corine bacteria tenius infection whenever you have a yellowish am i audible to you am i audible ashmita mist supratim am i audible to all my students can you give me a yes or thumbs up if my audio is fine because uh, shrinanti says that there is no audio so i want my students to say yes or no i hope my audio is fine yes so it is fine i think okay so uh, shrinanti my audio is fine uh, you just need to refresh it from your end okay i hope i am audible to all of you please remember this is a bacterial infection which is known as trichomycosis axillaris The next question is on your screen. Following picture under the wood lamp is classical of. So let me very quickly uh, zoom it for you. Very very quickly zoom it for you. This is a groin. You can see this is the genitals, and on the groins you can see some reddish appearance. So please tell me in which condition you will find the following picture: erythrasma, erysipelas, ichthyma, or erysipeloid. 
मिस्ट मितुम सुप्रतीम श्रवन आशिमा श्रीनति एनी बडी हियर कैन टेल मी दी आंसर फॉलोइंग पिक्चर अंडर दी वुड्स लैम्प इज क्लासिकल ऑफ डैश वेरी नाइस अगेन दिस इज अ बैक्टीरियल इन्फेक्शन वॉट इज द नेम इट इज इरिथ्राजमा बिकॉज ऑफ कोरी ने बैक्टीरिया माइन्यूटी सिमम प्लीज रिमेंबर देर आर टू स्पीशीज ऑफ कोरिने बैक्टीरिया वन कॉजेस द ट्राइकोमाइकोक्सिस एक्सिलरिस विच इज कोरिने बैक्टीरिया टीनियस अनादर इज कोरिने बैक्टीरिया माइन्यूटी सिमम विच कॉजेज द इरिथ्राजमा प्लीज गिव मी अ क्विक तब इफ दिस पॉइंट इज क्लियर मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन A diabetic patient presented with the following skin lesion. What can be the diagnosis? A diabetic patient with following skin lesions. What can be the diagnosis? Supratim, Shravan, Mist, Mitum, anyone? A diabetic with the following lesion. What is the answer? Yes. Uh, the correct answer here is a carbuncle. Now, if you look at this, you can see that there are multiple sinuses draining out. So, what is a carbuncle? It is the inflammation of multiple hair follicles. Deep folliculitis when they are grouped, grouped deep folliculitis or furuncle is known as a carbuncle. So, please remember, it is very common in diabetic patients or those who are chronic debilitating patients. those who remain bed ridden for a longer time immunocompromised patients they have a very higher risk of grouped furuncles or multiple deep folliculitis which is known as a carbuncle moving to the next question a chronic debilitating patient presented with the following lesion look at this i will first tell you about the lesion you can see that initially there was a erythema later this erythema have become dark there is an eschar and later this eschar it has just uh, you know fallen down leading a wide based ulcer so the question is a chronic patient with the following lesions which is the organism causing this so what is the organism which causes this anybody can tell me the answer pseudomonas or streptococcus or candida which of the following is correct divya supratim ashima shravan anyone very nice it's a patient of diagnosis ichthyma gangrenosum it's a patient of ichthyma gangrenosum and please remember the answer is pseudomonas very nice it is not orf please remember ashima orf infection is a localized infection which occurs at the site of entry of the organism okay this is not a site of entry they have given that the patient is a chronic debilitating patient while orf infection is a feature which occurs in a patient those who handle the meat handle the meat or fish so that history is very important and what is that orf infection called as it is known as ichthyma contagiosum it is different ichthyma contagiosum both these things are different ichthyma contagiosum clear now identify these bodies on the gemsa stain identify these bodies on the gemsa stain so you can see that these are a bodies which has a wide base below and a small round shape like this so these are dia shaped bodies which are present inside the macrophages you can see the nucleus so this is a nucleus this is a this is a macrophage this is a macrophage there is a nucleus and you can see some bodies like this with a large body and a small body what is this very nice this is a very classical ld bodies and it's a feature of leishmaniasis amazing it's a feature of cutaneous leishmaniasis or post kala azar dermal leishmaniasis moving to the next question what is the causative agent of tinea niagara anyone ashima mist shravan what is the causative agent of tinea niagara tinea niagara is a form of fungal infection please remember it is a fungal infection but it is not dermatophyte we use word tinea for dermatophyte but this tinea is not used for a dermatophyte it's a fungal infection secondary to an organism called as horte wernicke now if i show you the image look at the image this is your palmar skin and can you see this hyperpigmented macules on the palmar aspect when you scratch them very deeply when you scratch them very deeply actually you can remove these black 
skills which are present on the palmar aspect so please remember this is a type of fungal infection not a dermatophyte it occurs secondary to hot and wernicke infection moving to the next question now let me uh, tell you what exactly is this we have a annular lesion we have a annular lesion with central clearing and erythematous scaly margin is it giving you any hint erythematous scaly margins any hint on this so we have a annular lesion with central clearing and erythematous scaly margins what is the diagnosis very nice now it is tenia it is a fungal infection dermatophyte but is it tenia fasciae mist or shavan please remember if it occurs on the beard area in a male patient we have another term used for this and that is tenia barbe so please remember you have to read all the four options i know option number 1 sounds so true or so correct but when you read option number 3 that becomes your best choice clear so it is not tenia fasciae it is tenia barbe which is also known as barbers itch it is also known as barbers itch is this clear can i get a quick thumbs up from all my dear students if this point is clear good now this is a koh mount off now let me show you first what is given in this koh mount look these are the hyphae so we have branching hyphae in addition to that we can even see the fungal spores so what is that condition where both the fungal spores and the fungal hyphae are seen i have given you a very important hint and you have to also tell me the diagnosis plus what is this appearance called as anyone ashima varshini uh, namita pooja nkm anyone very nice it's a very characteristic spaghetti and meatball appearance also very popularly known as banana and grape appearance okay and it's a very classical feature of pitriasis versicolor or tenia versicolor so the correct answer very nice varshini uh, supratim ashima and nkn it is option number 1 that is it is a koh mount of tenia versicolor now you have given a image and that image shows a whitish plaque on the oral or in the oral cavity let me show you this let me zoom out this for you you can see there is a whitish cavity inside the oral cavity you can see some depositions on the tongue as well what can be the answer here anyone what is the answer here can can you think of a diagnosis very nice it is acute pseudomembranous acute pseudomembranous oral candidiasis it is very common in the patients those who are immunocompromised those who have diabetes or those who use frequent steroids like inhalations if you have a fungus with you how will you treat you will treat it by giving fluconazole very nice mitum ashima shravan pooja varshini and nkn so you have to treat this patient by giving fluconazole let's move to the next question infant with following lesions look at the lesion first look at the lesion first on the genitals you can see the erythema involving both the convexity as well as the flexures even the groin is involved with a lot of discrete lesions which are present at a distant space i have given you a hint can anybody tell me what are these distant lesions which are present little far away from the main plaque these are known as satellite lesions please remember satellite lesions along with involvement of the groin or flexures flexural involvement flexural involvement or satellite lesions is it diaper dermatitis pooja please remember in diaper dermatitis this part the flexural parts are always spared so this is a very classical case of candidal intertrigo is it clear to all of you can i get a quick thumbs up so you need to know what are the important point so that you can differentiate between the two very common differential diagnosis 
I would request all my students, if you want to learn the images more like this, more clear understanding, please subscribe on Academy. You can use my code CHESHTA10 and get your Unacademy subscription. We are currently providing 20% discount, so please don't miss on that. This offer is only till 22nd, so requesting all of you to please kindly go ahead and get your subscription. Now we have, okay, we are not done. Just wait, we have uh, many more questions. We are not done. So let's start with the next question. This drug is used for, what is the correct answer? This drug is used for treatment of what? Anyone can tell me the answer. This drug is used for treatment of what? Podophyllin resin. This is used in treatment of anyone. Shavan, mist, mitum, puja. Very nice. It is a podophyllin resin. What is it? It works by inhibiting the mitosis. So it prevents the division. And it's a very, very useful drug in treating genital warts or verruca vulgaris. We have to ask the patient to come frequently to the clinics and the expert will apply it. The doctor or the qualified person will apply this podophyllin on the genital lesions and we have to take care of it. Okay? So how does it work? It works by arresting the mitosis and it inhibits the proliferation of the viral wart. Next question, patient with CAR-14 gene defect, what can be the diagnosis? Pityriasis rubra pilaris, psoriasis, lichen planus, atopic dermatitis, what is the correct answer here? Patient with CAR-14 gene defect, what is the diagnosis? Pityriasis rubra pilaris, look at this, I will show you a very important feature. Now if you look at this, you can see that palmo plantar skin is orangish. There are few areas on the body which are not involved, can you see the groins are not involved? And when you feel this, they have a very thick nutmeg grater like appearance. They have a very pointy nutmeg grater appearance. They have a very pointy nutmeg grater appearance. Is this clear? Can you give me a quick thumbs up all my dear students? Can you give me a quick thumbs up all my dear students? So patient with CAR-14 gene defect, the diagnosis is option number one you have prp sandal which is the yellowish discoloration of palmo plantar skin yellowish palmo plantar keratoderma you have island of sparing and you have nutmeg gator appearance in addition to cart 14 gene defect next question on exertion the patient develops falling lesion what can be the diagnosis cholinergic urticaria lichen planus lichen nitidus or photodermatitis exertion leads to these small microvilli. What are these microvilles? Can you see this pinpoint microvilles? You all must have felt it whenever you work in a hot environment or when you run under the sun, sudden increase in sweat can cause itching in your body. So that is also one of the feature. Anybody can tell me on exertion the patient develops falling lesion. What can be the diagnosis? Cholinergic urticaria, lichen planus, lichen nitidus or photodermatitis. Very well done all my students. The correct answer of this question is cholinergic urticaria. Whenever the core body temperature increases, it sends the signal to the hypothalamus which then cause release of acetylcholine. Next question, how to treat this condition? Now you can look at this. Can you see some, some insect? What are these? Can you see these insects? These are li lice. So what is this louse bond disease where you see infection or the mite active lesion on the uh, skin or clothing? Yes, the correct answer of this question is this is a patient with pediculosis corporis. It is pediculosis corporis infection. Now how to treat a patient of pediculosis corporis? Please remember pediculosis corporis the best treatment option is washing of clothing. So try to remember that you have to wash the growth. There is no point of giving 5% permethrin to the patient because permethrin will only take care of the lesion on the body because you are giving that treatment to the body. But what about the louse which are remaining on the clothes? So try to remember that point. Very, very important. Now moving to the next question. I hope this image is clear. Uh, just a second. I will move it here. Yes. 
what is the correct answer of this question what is the correct answer here you can see that the history which is given in the question is that a patient is a known case of urtic, uh, urethritis and in a urethritis patient look at these lesions can you see these lesions so this is the glands and on the glands you can see round shape lesions what are these very nice amazing my dear students these are sarcinate lesions or sarcinate balanitis now can you tell me the name of the condition where you have sarcinate balanitis you have urethritis you have conjunctivitis and you have arthritis can you name that condition for me what is that condition where you have the triad of urethritis conjunctivitis arthritis sarcinate balanitis and one more terminology you must have heard keratoderma blanorrhagica what is that condition that condition is known as reiter's disease r e i t e r reiter's disease okay so please remember the answer to this question is option number 2 and this is a feature of reiter's disease now anyone here can tell me what is r i t t e r disease reiter's disease R E I T E R is reactive arthritis or Reiter's disease second to STD. But what is Reiter? R D T T E R. Please remember Reiter's that is R I D T T E R is a alternate name of Staphylococcal scarlet skin syndrome. Moving to the next question, identify this condition. You can see that there is a band of hypopigmentation on the hairs. What is this? quash your curls zinc deficiency telenium deficiency or melasmus anybody can tell me the correct answer here identify this patient's skin condition what is this quash your curls zinc deficiency selenium deficiency or melasmus anyone very nice it's a classical feature of quash your curl and this sign is known as a very classical flag sign this sign is known as a very very classical flag sign i hope this is clear to all of you anyone has any confusion with this chalo the next question is on your screen on mild mechanical trauma the following lesions involves in a 24 year old patient the lesion from the erosions heal without scar formation which protein is defective in that patient collagen 7 k514 lemonin or bp180 so what is that disease which occurs secondary to mechanical trauma what is it called as it is one of the mechanobullous disorders how many mechanobullous disorders you know of anyone can tell me the number of mechanobullous disorders mainly three type epidermolysis bullosa simplex epidermolysis bullosa junctional and epidermolysis bullosa dis trophica so please remember all my students we have three types the simplex version the junctional and dystrophic the simplex variety the deficiency is k514 in junctional it is the lemonin 5 which is defective and in dystrophica it is collagen 7 please remember because it's an adult patient the answer is option number 2 eb simplex because eb dystrophica in junctional usually present soon after birth but this question says that it is a 24 year old male patient so the disease is presenting little late and that is why we are considering eb simplex as the best possible answer moving to the next question again i am requesting all of you if you want to learn the tips and tricks to solve all the dermatology question we are bringing up with a dermatology course on an academy on 26th of july i would highly recommend all my students to please use my code chesta 10 and get 20% discount the offer is only till 22nd okay so please go and get the discount next question look at the image he is a 2 year old infant who presented to the or who is admitted in the emergency department with exfoliation or peeling of skin can you see how easily the skin is getting peeled off there is a history of otitis media in the past for which he has taken some drug the skin lesion was tender there was fever irritability but mucosal lesions are absent what can be the most probable diagnosis here very nice arvind pulami atul shravan ashima amazing all my dear students very nice very well done
यस सुप्रतीम प्लीज रिमेंबर इफ यू टेक दी सब्सक्रिप्शन ऑल दीज इमेजेस और ऑल वॉट एवर इमेजेस इज शोन टू यू इन द क्लास यू कैन इजिली डाउनलोड दैम एज द पी डी एफ ओके सो वॉट एवर क्लास एनी सब्जेक्ट इट इज नॉट ओनली फॉर डर्मेटोलॉजी वॉट एवर सब्जेक्ट इज टॉट टू यू आफ्टर द एंड ऑफ दोज क्लासेज यू कैन इजिली डाउनलोड दी पी डी एफ एंड दैट इज द ब्यूटी ऑफ अन अकेडमी यू कैन गेट एवरी थिंग बाय डाउनलोडिंग यू कैन वॉच दैम अगेन एंड अगेन ओके सो यू कैन रिवाइज इट till your subscription you can access anything on an academy so please take the subscription and get all the notes okay the correct answer is option number 4 that is staphylococcal scarlet skin syndrome please remember the negative mucosal history is something is which is giving you a hint that why this is not any of this in the drug rash like steven johnson and toxic epidermal necrolysis please remember oral lesion is present infant pemphigus also will have oral lesions but in staphylococcal scarlet skin syndrome because the target antigen is desmoglein 1 which is missing in oral mucosa you have sparing of it and this would be the last question of the today's session this is the last question which of the following statement regarding the diagnosis of the image given below is false now i'm giving you a hint this is a patient with flaccid bulla containing the turbid fluid If you have a flaccid bulla containing the turbid fluid, it means it is infective condition. And the only example which you have is bullous impetigo. So, which of the following statement is false regarding bullous impetigo? Anyone? Which of the following statement is false regarding bullous impetigo? Intraepidermal bullae are found. Regional lymphadenitis is common. Varnish crust is seen and exclusively produced by Staph aureus. option number 1 is absolutely right it has intraepidermal split subcorneal split to be more specific varnish crust is seen when the fluid get dried up and it is exclusively because of staph aureus but please remember regional lymphadenitis is not common regional lymphadenitis or secondary complications are more common with non bullous impetigo so try to remember this feature this is very very important for your exam i hope this point is clear to all of you can you all give me a quick thumbs up so with this we are done with the today's session thank you all of you for your patience listening and again i would be requesting all of you if you want to get an academy subscription kindly use the code jesta10 and get 20% discount we are giving amazing offers right now this offer is only till 22nd of july so don't waste time and go ahead and get it okay mitum all the reasons all the bullus impetigos detailed version will be taught to you the dermatology classes are starting on 26th of july so please don't miss it my classes will start from 26th and will go till 29th we have around 14 15 hours for the whole dermatology till then just wait all the best all of you tomorrow at same time we will be coming with another set of interesting question till then good night